Yeah, good morning. Just uh, doing a bit of brushing here, setting out a thinnings line. So, I thought I'd do a quick update on the 535i. Um, it's two, of course. Okay, let's have a quick little look at this little chap. Um, the object of the exercise is here, I'm laying out thinnings, uh, first thinnings. So in this particular instance, every seventh row is removed and the trees then are selectively removed, bad specimens, poor specimens. Uh, so things like, look at him there, that little twin stem thing there, so that he and he can get on better. On the other side, they'll reach through yeah, you get the picture. So that, that's the object of the exercise. Um, some time ago there was a discussion about trying these and it's come to pass now. So we're having a look to see, has a battery saw, an electrically powered saw, got a place in a truly commercial environment? Uh, I know they're very popular now, the top handled saws, with uh, arborists and why wouldn't they be? No noise to speak of. Um, no fumes, uh, it just has to be more sensible, doesn't it? But in here, uh, we're kind of, it's a bit, not tougher, I'm not saying it's tougher, but there's a bit more to do. Um, so we thought we'd give it a go. And what do I think a week on? I've had this for about a week now and um, yeah, pleasantly surprised. The I knew they were good. I'd spoken to a couple of lads that had used the top handled ones and they all pretty much raved about them. Batteries and motors have come on in technology so much so quickly that um, they're, they're, they're pretty good now, well, very good and worth having. Um, I was a bit skeptical of the chain when we received it or when I received it. I thought it might be a little bit too light, but as you can see there, it's whistling away through that and it's been cutting some quite nasty stuff up above uh, and then another wood we're doing at the moment, uh, it, it had its work cut out, no two ways about it. Uh, and I'd have been snipping off, you see this front one here, uh, so this, this front stem here, I'd have been snipping that off, cleaning the branches off like this and it was absolutely well able to cope with it, it was doing very well. The difference between petrol and battery, um, the actual use of it couple of funny things <laughs> I keep going like I keep looking to start it um, which after 30 years I suppose is only to be expected the other thing and then of course I keep looking for the stop um, while we're talking about that oh that's on after a minute that will switch itself off unless you engage so I'll just turn it off there anyway um, the other thing is is the oil of course I'm so used to it runs out of fuel, you do your oil. Um, this, you have to teach yourself to check the oil. Um, otherwise, you will run it dry. I have done already. Uh, so, slap on the wrist for me. But, there we go. It's a good sight line under there. If I'm being really critical, look, there's a little ridge there which gathers muck. So, Husvana engineers. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> do what you like with that information. Um, so just mind that when you open that up, you don't let a load of rubbish in, but that's a common thing with all saws, even the pet, you know, they all have stuff gathered up around it. Um, couldn't be easier, could it? Look, fueled, there's the fuel. Um, it seals up pretty well in there. And you can kind of see, look, it's, it's not, a, look how much fine stuff is there. So it's, you know, it's not letting too much rubbish in there. A couple of little bits of sawdust and there we go, ready to go. Um, the save button up here, I've been playing with that. I'll, I'll engage it in just a moment. You can see it slows the chain speed down. Now, electric motors are synonymous with torque. So I would imagine, let alone the battery consumption angle, which is save, it's fairly self-explanatory. I also would suppose on something a little bit beefier you come across, then put the save on and you've probably got more of torque behind it. Now I'm guessing that um, and certainly from the last few days I would suspect that's the case but I stand to be corrected on that. Um, yeah very good. Has it got a place against a petrol saw? It's not a replacement for a 550 XP which is normally what I'd use in here 
but it's certainly a lot more pleasant to use. Um, the cost of it, we had a look at that and we sort of worked out figures on the cost of the batteries to buy and it's very, very similar um, to running petrol. If you imagine petrol now is seven euros plus, plus your mix, say two euros. So you're up at nearly 10 euros for five litres of fuel. Yes, on paper, these are expensive, but you actually work it back and they're competitive and, and pretty good. So at the moment, and I say at the moment, I'm pretty surprised how much I'm enjoying it um, because I did think it would have limited power, um, you know, being a bit old fashioned, I suppose. Uh, but I'm very impressed with it. It cuts very well, very easy to use. Okay, talking of which, let's get on and I'll show this uh, save thing. Say function, I should say. Okay, we'll start off normally. And probably here there the the difference in change speed but the way it cuts I think is absolutely fine um, of course that prolongs battery life so that's handy but So there we have it, a great little saw um, for a busy landowner, a busy commercial landscaper, uh, busy as in a landowner who wants to do his own stuff and uh, uh, probably manage his own woodlands. Uh, yeah, I can only recommend it. Um, I find it very good, I have to say. Uh, I'd be fair, like I said to you just a moment ago, I'd be fairly impressed with it. You can see the difference in the save feature there. Um, it does its job. Very safe saw to use. Um, oh, it's, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to having this in the back of the Jeep now, along with the other stuff, uh, especially for marking out, you know, boundaries and that sort of thing. It's ideal. So, well, I better get on. You can probably hear in the background a harvester approaching, so I've got to get on. And uh, I'll update you again soon. Thanks for looking.